Hi, Wesley the Gizmo Guy here. I have had my iPhone for about a year now, and once in a while I will have some problem with it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it, but once in a while the phone gets tweaked out. And uh, this is what it is. You can see that there's a once in a while this blue line will come up, and it makes um, operating the phone kind of uh, it tweaks out the phone a little bit you can see the blue outline here and um, when that happens it makes controlling the iPhone a little bit weird the phone becomes retarded and uh, sometimes when the the, the, the touch uh, thing would not work obviously now I'm doing a demo so it's working right now but you can see that blue outline around it and this outline would uh, would move around and uh, you actually would do a scan do a scanning around on the the screen and it took me a while to figure out what's going on with this and I don't know if this happens to all iPhones but um, it's it's happening to my quite often now so actually I, so I went out and looked for um, tried to look for an answer for it and I found the answer for it so I'm sharing it with you here and what it is is that when that thing happens Let's see if it comes back up. It's actually working right now. Um, see that blue outline, the blue uh, the box outline there. Okay, when that happens, it makes the phone retarded. And what it is is that um, I don't know why it happens, but it's happening quite often now. And let me show you how to get rid of it. Okay, when that happens, basically what it is is this: you just go to the setting, go to general. See that thing now? Now the blue line is making it hard to uh, the touchpad. Um, it makes it all weird. So when that happens, the the way to get rid of it is you go to the setting, go to the general, and go to accessibility, and go to switch control. Notice that the switch control is on. Um, this comes on automatically. Um, I don't know how, why, and uh, it just does. So to get rid of it. You go on so where it says switch control, go to switch control. It comes on automatically. Um, I don't know when you use the switch control, but the switch control is what's causing that blue box there. So um, to get rid of it, go to switch control and turn it off. See that, that blue box right there? So you turn it off. And that would take care of it. So now your phone would work like the way it should uh, and the blue box goes away and your phone is no longer retarded but it will still come on once in a while um, by itself and I think it may be due to the uh, fact that I put my phone in my pocket and I guess every once in a while this thing uh, the home buttons gets pressed on too many times see now it comes on see when you when you press it too many times uh, the blue box comes on and it makes the phone retarded so when you do find your phone to be kind of retarded um, meaning that the touchpad or the, the, the t when you touch it it goes all weird and everything you just go on to the uh, assess go to general accessibility and go to where is that switch control switch it off and that should bring the phone back to normal so that's how you get rid of that blue box um, if you experience it uh, you'll know it uh, the blue box would be like first it would be outside and then you will be doing the scanning thing going back and forth and all that stuff it makes the uh, the touching thing not working anymore so all you have to do is go to the uh, setting general accessibility and make sure that the switch control is off to get rid of that blue box and your phone will no longer be retarded so that's how you get rid of it um, this is gizmo guy I just thought I'd share that with you since uh, this is happening to my phone and you may happen to your phone as well uh, actually let's try this see if we push it push the home button many times
Oh, it's now where it's. Oh, there you go. Okay. See? The blue box comes on again. Okay? And I did not mess with the settings. Just simply by pressing the home button too many times, that thing will come on. So just go back to setting. Wait. Go to the general accessibility. And you'll notice that the thing is on again. So make sure you switch it off. Uh, you may or may not experience with the the uh, with problem like this, but I had my phone for about a year now because this is iPhone six, not iPhone six S. Okay, um, I think it's due to the fact that I keep my uh, phone in the pocket, and uh, once in a while this buttons get pressed on too many times, and the uh, thing comes on. So just this is how it turned out. Okay, once again, this is Wesley the Gizmo guy. Thank you for watching this, and hopefully that would take care of your problem. Thank you very much. Bye bye.